you guys already know that I'm a part of this thing called Just Kidding News. Uh, Just Kidding News is something that I'm very passionate about because this show is very unique on, on the YouTube space. It's literally people talking about their opinions, whether it's right or wrong. And I know a lot of people when they watch the videos like, we can't believe you said that. You don't know the full story. Of course we don't know the fucking full story. We just read the article. So you guys have a lot more time to research it, but that's really what it is. And we want to show people that, you know, it's okay to have an opinion on certain things, whether you're right or wrong. And it's unfiltered and it's raw. So I, I love this channel and we're actually on our way to go film an episode. In Just Kidding News, there's always this thing where they say I'm, I'm late, constantly. 10 oh something By the way, when I'm late, I'm like five or six minutes late. And it's only because I can't really test traffic too well. And every time I show up early, other people show up like 10 or 15 minutes late. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna show up five minutes late and I'll always be on time. Oh, Lo and behold! Oh Who's late this time? And I don't care that her garage broke, it doesn't matter. You're late. Martin Gio showed up like 40 minutes late. What's up, Tardy? I was that so shit. on time that she, called, she could count on I need me. you to be quiet because right now, what time is it? What did you do to me last week? What time is it is the question. Motherfuckers. I'm only blaming Gio. I absolutely love Bart. Fuck Gio. <laughs> I feel the love. See that? It locked away in the closet. Completely went overhead, but it Bart makes me feel good. Bart and Gio's finally here because oh Tiffany didn't pay her power bill. <laughs> Joe is such a interesting character. He has so many weapons. I think he's getting ready for a zombie apocalypse. Oh, you guys want to see something cool that I got? Yeah. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Motherfucker. This will, if he ever gets robbed, I feel bad for the person coming into his house. He has like a whole war chest. Yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the walking dead. <laughs> See, it's called chaos. <laughs> Bro, you name a fucking knife chaos, shit's about to go down. You ever heard of that saying, they should have never gave you bitches money? That's Joe. <laughs> I think you're just waiting for somebody to rob you. Yeah. You're like leaving a wad of cash in the front of the house, <laughs> unlocking the door. <laughs> he has an axe, a spear, like four different types of swords. Oh, I, I gotta get some cameras installed. So as soon as we see guys with like ski masks or someone weird coming in, right? It's gonna be dark in my room, so when my door opens, they're just gonna hear like our three dogs, this little ones. And right by my bed, I have a, a, a handgun's vault. So, and it's not, and it's like. It's all fancy too. You press a button, it's all. <laughs> and then kind of you stick your hand in there. And it's, it's only fingerprint, so no one can open it but me. What the yeah. fuck? That's yeah. tight. So I'll then, put like a snicker in there and shit. Only mine. And then his other side to him, he has like a kazoo, an accordion. I don't know what he's preparing for, but I think he's preparing to fight an army on a lonely island. What? Instruments for JK News. Uh, and this is just in case someone walks through that door. 15. And yeah, 15. if Bart needs any assistance, I would jump up and stab <laughs> him in the fucking face. I want uh, there to be like a weapon in your place that has a hatch. Uh, mm -hmm. And it goes like this. Ones, uh, <laughs> oh, boom! Yes. Just think about like a spear. Boom! Yep. <laughs> boom! Oh, it flies up. Yeah. And, and then, then you grab, grab it. it and you throw it in the motherfucking face. The special guest for today for Just Kidding News was Furious Pete. Never knew him prior to today, actually. And Furious Pete is dope, by the way. Super talented. I didn't realize he was a professional eater. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh! I just thought he was like this huge bodybuilding guy. He's like three inches tall than me. I'm 6'1", by the way, and just this yoked out dude, but man, I love the guy. And We're looking for him to educate us. Start. Yeah. And I fucking want you news. <laughs> <laughs> JK to me has become uh, an everyday thing. So a lot of our stuff, aside just from being friends, we kind of mix friendship and business together and it's been absolutely amazing. And I know there's a saying like, you shouldn't do friendship and business. That's because your friends are probably dumb as shit. What are you doing? You, you exploded your own house. Ah! <laughs> Why? Because you always get to be violent with me, and I never get to be violent with you. Yeah, but I do it out of love. Me yeah, too. But. I generally became rooted in LA because of them. Coming to LA was a very difficult thing for me. It wasn't It wasn't something that I was used to. I didn't like the environment, and to be honest with you, the majority of the people I, I, I didn't really vibe with as well, but when I met Bart and Joe and Gio and them, 
you know, they instantly became family to me. So, which is why we do stuff like Just Kidding together and uh, a lot of the sketches and I, whenever they need me, I'm, I'm there for them 100%. Some people, they email Tiff and they go, Tiff, can you get everybody to sign? <laughs> well, why are you doing it? Because you're so nice. I know, but then they, by you telling them, I'm going to get more work. <laughs> what does this mean, Tommy? Much love and respect, you live? <laughs> does he, is he choosing people's life and death? <laughs> <laughs> Much love and respect, you get to live. Much love and respect. You live! So I think he's like playing Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Finish him! <laughs> That's funny. One of the things that I, I kind of was really drawn towards them was the fact that they were very honest and real. Even though we disagree on a lot of things, like, and then it happens, there's no animosity or hate, and you don't see that in a lot of people. Specifically here in, in LA, in my personal opinion anyways, like if you disagree with somebody, you automatically hate them as a human being. Which is dumb because you're not gonna have the same ideas, but Bart and Joe had this way of of listening and disagreeing at the same time, which is something that I, I generally gained as well. I mean, you may not see it in my videos because I'm super opinionated because those are comedic videos that are supposed to make you laugh. But um, that's what really you know, drew me towards them and that's not something that I see a lot in a lot of people.